It's, uh, it's taken me a long time to come across someone genuine like that. Mm-hmm. <laughs> and I'm not sure if it will happen again anytime soon. Mm-hmm. So if it, and... if, if it is inevitable that they're going to go, then yeah. in my head, I want to be secure that there'll be someone else um, who will come through. Like, as in, not like, not like that I need someone else, but I just, you know what I mean? Like, yeah. Um, okay, so basically I have this feeling of, so it's the whole like left behind thing again, but I don't know what piece is missing. So basically I came across this person like a month ago and um, the situation is like, um, well, yeah, this is talking like relationship, like it's quite new, but I don't know. I don't know yet. But um, so it is like, you know, I feel that the references we worked on the past couple of months and so with availability and like you know like attention and love and respect and reciprocating it have really like genuinely showed up like I kid you not I was like wow like this is such a shift from you know like the past um but the issue is yeah I was like oh my god (laughs) like this is my (laughs) first time coming across someone like that so it's not like nobody else exists so the situation itself is not really an issue for me it's more like how I'm feeling towards it so, but he leaves in February, but that is not um, set in stone. So, and mm-hmm. he will leave for London or Australia. So it's not even like, you know, like a tiny city, you know, two hours away or something. It's quite a big move. So my fear is, my thing is in my head, oh, like this is so good, but then he's going to leave, you mm-hmm. know? And my only, the only focus, well, half of my focus in the day is like, they're going to go. <laughs> Instead of, oh, what's happening is good, great, like, amazing right now. Um, yeah. Yes. Okay. Very good. And so, of course, what's happening is your brain is fixated on the danger. Mm. So, yeah. you know, you, there's there's the good parts, there's the good stuff of it, but there's this threat, this danger. And so, you know, your brain, of course, is automatically focusing on the tiger instead of the flowers. Makes sense. Mm-hmm. All right. So tell me what's the what's wrong with this person moving? What's what's the worst thing about this? It, uh, it's taken me a long time to come across someone genuine like that. Mm-hmm. <laughs> and I'm not sure if it will happen again anytime soon. Mm-hmm. So if it, and- if, if it is inevitable that they're going to go, then yeah. in my head, I want to be secure that there'll be someone else um Mm -hmm. who will come through like as in not like not like that I need someone else but I just you know what I mean like yeah yeah I understand and so how do you know there won't be someone else how do you know that this is the only one Mm, I don't but I find it hard to see into the future and believe there are enough good people in the world (laughs) yes and again that's because the brain is constantly trying to predict the future based on the present, which is based mm-hmm. on the past. Yeah. So based on how, you know, your experience of the present, which is based on references from the past. So as you think about the possibility of there being anybody else, your brain is going, there's clearly nobody else. Because mm. the brain's not very good at predicting the future uh, and we can't predict the future objectively, certainly. So let's say that this is the only, so let's go worst case scenario. This is the only one there is, and he moves away. And then what? What will happen? That's so sad. (laughs) Well, what, what will your life be like? What will you do? Okay, to be honest, again, this is the whole conscious subconscious thing. Nothing has changed inside of me. Like, I feel no different Um, because (laughs) it is all inside of you. So I will feel no different. And if I feel what whatever I feel for a couple of, you know, weeks, then that will just be temporary and I will get over it like I have before because I have the ability to. Yes. But I don't know. It will be a void. (laughs) Right. For a short while. Mm -hmm. And then what's going to happen is it's going to depend on where you put your focus and what you, you know, what you choose to do moving forward. So let's say you never end up with the person you want to, you know, with somebody like that, then 
you'll do whatever you can to make your life fabulous anyway. Mm -hmm. Right. You have other options for enjoyment in life. You will, you know what I mean? So you will continue to make the best of what you do have. Now, the likelihood is that there will absolutely be someone else and probably even better because Mm -hmm. that's, you know, that's most likely to happen. But you want to make peace with that worst case scenario so that your brain's not fixated on it, thinking there's a danger there. There's no Mm -hmm. danger. You'll be okay either way. Right. So now let's look at, so this feeling of the, um, so this, this person seems fantastic and there's so much good around him. And now he may be going away. That fee, whatever that feeling is, you got that feeling now? Mm, Yes. Mm -hmm. Very good. And uh, where in your childhood did you feel that same feeling? And of course it may or may not be to do with the same topic. Oh, this is new. So my grandpa would always leave um, like the house in the morning and like not come back till late. Mm-hmm. Uh, so he would just wander around the village kind of thing. Like he didn't have a job, but it was like mm-hmm. he was very um, not present. You know, like he didn't right. really contribute much to the household. He was just there. Mm-hmm. Like he was just there for the name of it. He wasn't really there there. <laughs> right. And how did that feel for the little you? like confused so confused confused. Mm. yes very good this is brilliant good job and what was your how did you how did that little you feel about your grandfather or what was was that that child you what was her experience of your grandfather yeah I really liked him when he was okay yeah and then but then he would again he would not be there but then when he was there it was great like it was amazing there you go very good and when he wasn't there what what was like what was was it like it's almost strange because it was like waiting it was like waiting around for him to show up yeah Mm. very good so how does that feel familiar not really I can't relate the feelings, okay. but that's obviously a memory that needs changing. The fact yeah. that it's come up means it's definitely connected, yeah. even if this doesn't seem to be a conscious, logical reason. Mm-hmm. Okay, very good. So let's change it. So um, I want you to imagine that, so pick a scene where your grandfather is about to go, he's going to leave, whatever that you know situation was, you got one? Mm-hmm. Very good. And yeah. now... As he's leaving, what would that little you ideally like instead? So instead of him leaving, would you prefer he stays or would you like to go with him? Um, And you can do both. Yeah, I want to stay with him. So, but I want to leave with him. Yeah. Good. Okay. So at first, let's say you say to him, um, so he's about to go and you say, uh, can I come with you? Mm-hmm. And he says, oh, of course, yes, that'll be fun. And you go with him on his adventures around the village. Okay. How would that be? Yeah, that's great. <laughs> Very good. So create that memory, practice it until it's established. Then the next piece that we want there is that he's about to leave and you say, uh, no, don't leave, stay with me. And Mm. he says, oh, yes, of course I will. And he stays with you and you have fun and it's lovely because he's there. Oh, okay. How does that feel? Yeah, that feels good. Yeah, I had like another bit to it that came up, actually. That's more significant. Yeah, so he would always praise other kids, like, like I always uh, so because of the village and the situation of how the village is people just come in and out of each other's houses so he um he was really good at like teaching Hindi so other kids would learn Hindi off him and I wasn't like I that was not my strong point so he he would always be praising everyone else and the comparison thing was huge like he would show like you know their notebooks and their homework um wow and it was mocking oh my goodness yes so that you're right, that is very significant. So mm-hmm. that ha, that can create this foundation of 
unsure, insecurity, n- not safe. Yeah. Very good. Oh, very good, Swasti. Okay. So um, let's see. So, so you, he's got these other children that he's teaching Hindi to, and then he's got their books and he shows you their books and you, you have a magic wand and you freeze the whole scene and then you have a book. You are able to magic up your own book and you can now, you're fluent in Hindi. Mm-hmm. Okay, beyond what is expected for your age. Okay. And you have these books and you've got plenty of time. You've frozen everything. You've frozen time. Mm -hmm. So now you have time to magic up whatever you want to magic up. And then you unfreeze everything, unfreeze him and everything else. And then you show him your stuff, your books. And you say to him in Hindi, well, what do you think of this? Or whatever. (laughs) And he goes, oh, I didn't know you could... And he is so proud he could burst. Mm-hmm. How would that feel? Yeah, that feels great. I always love the magic wand thing. It's like I can do anything with it. Right, exactly. Yeah. Very mm-hmm. good. So that's one, that's a stepping stone. And then establish it. And then the next piece is where he is showing you other children's books to say how much, how, how much better you are than them. And he's saying, you know, look at this. You just shows you how brilliant you are. Have you seen these? Mm. So it's a comparison, but it's the other way. Yes, yeah. It's comparing you being so much better. And he is so proud of you because he's your grandfather. Look at my granddaughter. She's completely fluent, you know. Oh, yeah. Oh, that's great. I love that praise. <laughs> I want the attention and praise. <laughs> yeah. Of course, of course, because that's, that's survival for children. Mm. Mm -hmm. so that's perfect and then you go you go with him through the village and he's uh bragging about you to every you you overhear him even when you're not actually in the conversation he's not saying it to you you can overhear him telling other people how brilliant you are and how proud he is she gets it from me you know Mm -hmm. that kind of thing okay that's fine yeah Good. Yeah. Very, very good. And so really then establish that so that you are building this incredibly strong um, foundation of uh, like roots of being safe and mm-hmm. valued and valuable. Okay. Yeah. I didn't know it was so deep rooted. Like whenever I look for these things, I just go to my parents, but my parents came after my grandparents which I always forget. Yeah, exactly. Mm -hmm. So then, then you come to, to your experiences with your parents and you your brain is referring to all of this stuff from, Mm -hmm. from earlier Mm -hmm. with your grandfather. And especially because, you know, it would be uh, different references if you didn't have a good relationship with him or you were frightened of him or it was a negative thing. But the fact that it was a positive thing Mm. And now this positive thing is in danger. And this is one of the very few positive things you have. So it's not like you have your parents and you've got this strong relationship with your parents and then your grandfather is an additional bonus kind of thing. This Mm. is a lifeline that is under threat. Yeah. And other children are going to take it away. Mm. Now I understand why that's disastrous. <laughs> yeah. 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 Which to mm-hmm. the unconscious part of your brain means you're going to die. Yeah. So that little you is living in an emergency state mm-hmm. of survival, which doesn't help with learning anything, you know, Hindi or anything else. No. <laughs> because your prefrontal cortex isn't online for you to be able to comprehend and retain mm-hmm. information. Yes. Okay. All right. So yeah. esta- so establish those stepping stones and then do the final memory where you are just, you know, you're, you're a natural and your grandfather. So all of that that we've just uh, created there and you go around, you can hear him bragging about you and you are the center of his world. And I would have, I would create scenes where there's you and your grandfather and some other children come in to the scene. They come into the house or whatever. And your grandfather very kindly but he says oh I'm sorry I can't right now I'm with my granddaughter Mm -hmm. so that he is choosing you over other 
people, other children, other activities. So that really continues to establish that safety in you. Okay. Does that make sense? Yes. Yeah. Very good. Good job. Practice all of that until it's established and then think about this relationship again and -hmm. think, okay, so if this person goes away and moves uh, elsewhere, how does it feel now? And see if that's changed. And if not, of course, there may be other things, Mm -hmm. other references, but this whole thing with your grandfather. And I I don't think we've ever, I I don't remember you talking about it before. So this is new. So that's fantastic. Um, That will be affecting a lot of different things, not just this kind of this relationship. Yeah. Like I I can already link it to like comparison in everyday life because I always compare myself with everything. Like I always want to be the best, but (laughs) when I like, you can be the best, but sometimes when it doesn't happen, then I'm beating myself up. And that's yeah. it. And that's because if you're not the best, you won't survive. Mm-hmm. Literally, you'll, you'll die as far as the unconscious part of your brain is concerned. So it makes sense. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> Good job, yeah. Swasti. I'm so proud thank of you. you. You're thank very, you. very welcome. You're very welcome, sweetheart. And thank you for, for being here and, and sharing this as well for to help others. Good job. Mm-hmm.